All right, so welcome back. First video in the Windows 11 series. So first and foremost, I think the most important thing you should do when you have Windows 11 is keep everything as up-to-date as you can. Reason being, there are going to be quite a few bugs in this operating system because it is so because it's so new. So to do an update, there are a few ways I'm going to show you how to get there. The first way is probably the quickest and easiest. So you press the start button on your keyboard or you simply click start here. Okay? These do exactly the same thing. You press start on your keyboard, which is that Windows looking flag. It kind of looks like this icon here. Four squares clumped closely together. And then when the menu comes up, you simply type the word update, U-P-D-A-T-E. The first thing that should come up, it should say check for updates, system settings. You click on that and straight away it should start checking for updates. And they should populate here. Now my PC, because I've only just installed Windows 11, is going to have quite a few updates. So at some point, I'm going to go ahead and actually click download now. Or for the really big important Windows updates, it's going to say download and install. All right. So that's how you check for updates. The other method by going to start again. Uh, most people should have the settings app here. You're going to go to settings. And in settings, you're going to go down to where it says Windows Update here on the left. You're going to click on that. When Windows Update comes up, again, you're straight back to that screen. So the first method is probably the best one because it gets you straight here without doing anything else. Now, the last option is more or less the same as the second one. So you go over to your Wi-Fi sound and battery percentage here. You click on it. And to the bottom right hand corner, you're going to see an all settings icon, which is a cog icon. You're going to click on it. It's going to take you back to settings again. And again, you're going to go down to where it says Windows Update. And, you have, and you're then greeted with all your updates again. And you simply click again, download now or download and install. And that's it. Now, I do recommend people doing this relatively frequently. Um, sometimes Microsoft will tell you that you have updates but not every machine is going to be configured that way, especially if you're coming from Windows 10 and you did not have automatic updates turned on. This is a good feature to have. This is a good thing to do, okay? Well, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. More videos incoming.